Welcome back, Emily and Nicole here. We have another special guest for you to get to know today. Hey everybody, as promised, we have a special guest with us today. We have Candace Thomas in the studio. <laughs> she is a local Utah writer, author, and we just want you to meet her today. So tell us all about yourself. Um, I am a young adult fantasy author. I also dabble in romantic comedy, um, like paranormal satire, as I would say, and I'm a oh. poet. I mean, no genre really scares me, as long as I just kind of like fantastical elements need to be within whatever I write. It's gotta have some kind of I don't know, charm to it, that kind of So awesome. how many books have you written, Candace? I've written five novels. So I have a full fantasy series. That's my young adult stuff. And then I have um, two standalones that are just more of like contemporary reads. It's a vampire satire is what oh. I call it. Um, and it's called A Vampirish, A Hypochondriac's Tale. And that has to do with, <laughs> I kind of have a science background. And so that's why I wrote that one. And then uh, this other one that's uh, just a contemporary um, fantastical romance, I guess is what I could call it. So Candace, I find this interesting because the other side to you, besides the writer author side, is you work with blood. I work with blood. <laughs> <laughs> so for you to write a vampire novel makes 100% sense. Right? Yep. Yeah. yeah. It was kind of fun. I mean, I did it as a side project, you know, just because writing a series is a lot of work and it's enormous and it can be really draining. And right there at the end of when I was writing the series, um, I kind of had a side project of just getting out and making something funny and happy instead of this dark you know, <laughs> end of the world, everyone's dying kind of thing. Yeah. Because I work with blood, as you've said, <laughs> so if people need like a, a person to talk about science or blood or forensics, they call me and I don't do it. <laughs> now you have, if you need that, you know where to go. Right? That's right. Yeah. Yeah. I work up at the university hospital in transfusion. And so that's why, and vampire fiction has always been kind of lost on me a little bit. Uh, Cause I'm like, yeah, that's not going to happen. Or even <laughs> gore or horror because blood, this is so funny that this is the direction it's Hey, taking. that's fine. <laughs> um, whatever direction it takes. <laughs> Blood is a trigger for people. I mean, immediately we know how it feels. We know what it, it once you see blood, it's it's like something dangerous or bad. Yeah. So that's why they use it so much in horror or in film, um, because it triggers an emotional response. So a lot of the time people will write and put blood in just to get that kind of reaction. <laughs> and you're like, and I'm like, mm -hmm. oh, right. But there's other ways to kind of make that same reaction without being so gory. And, and you have done that. Out that. Yeah, of course. Oh, well, I mean, yeah. I try. That's <laughs> I try. awesome. That's why I try to teach people and that's kind of, that's one of my novels that I have. What about Shots your other Street. books? Tell us about your other books. Um, so the first book that I wrote was called Vamp uh, Vivitira, and that's the one I'm going to give away today. <gasps> awesome. Um, and it's a young adult fantasy, and that's the first in a series of three. Okay. So, and that's all about magic, organic magic, elemental magic. Very Sanderson, very <gasps> Tolkien-esque, except Love with that. a bunch of girls because I was finding that there weren't enough female heroines that I liked and that I kind of gravitated to. That was like a long time ago. Now it's just, there's so much rich, you know, um, literature out there that you can grab. Um, Girl yes. power fantasy, that's Love what we're gonna call that. it. Let's show the cover, shall we? That's a beautiful cover. We'll be giving this away on our Instagram. Um, well, as you said, I'm a poet uh -huh. and um, that is, uh, that's been kind of an interesting journey because <laughs> I think when I was a teenager, I wrote like wrote out my feelings, but I didn't realize that I was a poet until like I don't know, like I don't know, five years ago. Oh, nice! Um, because, Never too late. As you guys know, I'm a member of the League of Utah Writers, and um, we have chapters all over the state. And I went to a chapter meeting, and they asked us to share something, and it was supposed to be flash fiction. I'm terrible at reading my own things, um, but I did. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I, I get it. <laughs> I decided to read this, 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 uh, what I called flash fiction out to this little group of uh, people. And they're like, yeah, that's not flash fiction. That's poetry. <gasps> and I like, oh, right. Okay. I forgot that I can. <laughs> then I'll write poetry. <laughs> oh, that's right. My writing and in my voice is very poetical. 
So you get you infuse your fiction with poetry. Oh, for sure. And oh. even in this series, there's a bunch of poems that I have written. So, Sweet. so it's like a two for one. Candace. Yes. You can, Candace yeah, infusion. you can know me very well. Trans, a Candace transfusion <laughs> of poetry. <laughs> like the Utah scene is really exciting right now because there's a lot of, um, I'm not a slam poet, but there's a lot of places that do lots of slam poetry or poetry readings or just, it's a really great creative um, environment that's happening right now. I okay. love slam yeah. poetry and I would love to be able to do it, but. <laughs> and since you are a poet, Candace has also written a book of poems. Mm -hmm. And we will also be giving this away on our Instagram, Wandering Beautiful. And oh my word, how beautiful the cover. is this cover. There's oh, there's like drawings and sketches and it's just, oh, it's gorgeous. Candace, you also um, are up there, <laughs> high up there in the League of Utah Writers. Will you explain what the League of Utah Writers is and oh, what you sure. do with it? Okay, sure. So um, the League of Utah Writers is a nonprofit organization that promotes literacy and community within um, within writers. So when I first um, started writing, I didn't have any clue of what to do with this novel. Yes. I think a lot of people do. They're like, I don't, where do I go now? Who do I talk to? Yes. And that was, I was introduced to it um, to a chapter they have like there in Salt Lake. And I went and I just kind of met other people that have the same kind of mindset as me. Because you know, kind of as writers, not everyone understands what we're thinking and what we're doing. <laughs> and when I talk <laughs> about writing, my husband's like, mm, whatever. Yep. He's supportive, you keep your hobby, honey. And, <laughs> and that's fine, but oh yeah, he has no idea about the creative process that goes into it. So being in a community with other writers, I learned so much. And they have, so they have chapters all over the whole state. It's, I think it's celebrating its 87th year Whoa. this year. I did, I did not, not know that. <laughs> I did yes. not realize. Yeah. Wow. And we okay. have, we have two conferences each, just like a mini conference in the spring and then our Quills conference that happens in August. Oh yes. So um, I am the marketing chair of that, but all of the, all the positions are volunteer and we just kind of try to get the word out and try to get people, you know, to be members and, you know. And yeah. you're the marketing person. I'm the marketing person. I love that. So <laughs> it's using my, as I, I, once you become an author, you don't realize that part of your job is now as a marketing <sighs> person as well. Yes. That was never explained <laughs> in the instructions when I signed that contract. I was going to need to also start, you know, venturing out of the introvert to the extrovert yes. and pretend that I'm somebody that can sell <laughs> my stuff. <I> know. <laughs> so that's why I, I volunteered to help with the league there in that marketing position because I kind of just know more about how to promote books and how to push them out the door. If you live in Utah and you are a writer and you would like to join the League of Utah Writers, which is awesome, um, find it here. And you can find the chapter that's nearest you. Yeah. So we presented Candace with a, a challenge to write a poet poem using certain language that would be found in fantasy novels. So we came up with a list and it will be here on our screen, mm -hmm. a list of words that we invited ever so lovingly Candace to <laughs> create a masterpiece epic poem using those words. So she rose to the challenge. I did. And she's going to share it with us on okay, this Okay, so channel. before we start, though. So you guys gave me the option of doing it spontaneously <laughs> or doing it <laughs> beforehand. Yes, we did. And yes. knowing the words that you gave me, yeah. I'm so glad I said beforehand. Because <laughs> the, the poem that would have come would have been horrendous. Well, the words so, that we gave you were horrendous. Yes. Very, so, very, very tricky. Yeah. I would like to say that this is probably the only poem in history that has all of these words. For I think sure. we're setting a record today. Yeah. You are mm -hmm. setting a record. This is amazing. Watch awesome. now, guys, because <laughs> history, this, it's happening right, right now. now. <laughs> right now. It really wasn't, it didn't take me that long, um, which surprised me because I was inspired by the words. My, the favorite word that you gave me was chimerical. Yes. And I love so that that's one. what I titled it. Oh, yay! Okay. That's hey. awesome. So, chimerical can, I mean, not only just be with the species, but also mean hope. So, yes. 
Very cool. That's why, that's why I call it chimerical. Okay. So everybody okay. get your berets and your snapping yes. fingers. Okay. Chimerical. Between the sliver of when sun disappears tonight, I see it. The translucent light glows celestial, revealing the portal of an empire unlike my own. I feel the pull, the transmutation, gliding to a realm and existence parallel. The magic wields strong like an amulet, blazon to my fantasies. I see my likeness, my doppelganger self, living, breathing among the trees, the mountains, the sky. Others come, similar barbarians, searching for solace for the day-to-day -day nor normalcy. Listening to the wind of the wisdom of the soothsayer for the visceral necromancy to the dead creative spirit. This light burns deep, chimerical fueled, with one last brilliant hope, but dims cold with the sun behind the horizon. My sight clears and I return to my feet and move one after another. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not gonna snap, I'm gonna clap. Oh. Yeah. That, that is impressive. impressive. Great. That is impressive. <laughs> yeah, and you managed to set a mood mm -hmm. with a whole bunch of words that yep. didn't really doppelganger guys. Yeah. <laughs> that was the one I was like, oh. soothsayer. Soothsayer, yeah. Necromancy. Yeah, I'm not I'm saying like we're mean or anything, but <laughs> we do like to yeah. challenge people. No, and it was a fun challenge. It was a it was delightful. I really like this one. I'm definitely going to post it on Medium, I think. Uh, so not only can she take words that are completely unrelated words and throw them into a beautiful poem, but she can write lots and lots of novels. I think you've proven yourself <laughs> as a writer, poet, author today. Thank you. Yes. Yeah. We, again, will leave all of Candace's information all over the screen. Mm -hmm. Link of Utah Writers, Candace's website, and then, uh, as a reminder, we will be giving away one of her books on our Instagram, so you'll have to hop over there to find them. I have a question for it, for okay. sure. Because I am currently trying to work on a companion piece for my Vivitura series, and I just don't think that I'm gonna ever get it done. Will I finish that book this year? Ooh, that is a good question. Magic and Eight, that's Magic some Eight says, <laughs> "Oh, Magic Eight says, why don't you? Ah, uh, you may rely on it." Woo! Yay! Candace <laughs> is finishing. <laughs> yes, she is. Look at she's like, oh, yeah. Woo! That just means now I have to go back to work. <laughs> Actually Yay! <laughs> well, it looks like you probably should. Yes, like that yeah, is yeah. amazing. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming today. Yeah, we are fun. we find you delightful. We do. We do <laughs> find you delightful. So thank you, Candace. All right, we'll see you next time.